Welcome to Blind Flex to Get the Movies. I'm your host, Scott McCown. This time around, I will be reviewing the new Cameron Diaz movie, Bad Teacher, which also starred Lucy Punch, Jason Siegel, uh, Justin Timberlake, and Phyllis Smith. It was a cute movie. I can say that much. It was a decent movie. It had its cute points and its good points. It was as though they filmed the good points and then filmed everything else to try to lead up or follow these good points. You, some of the good points I will mention. You will just there was at one point where you thought Cameron Diaz was going to motorboat. I'm talking full throttle. Magnum style engine motorboat another woman. Um, a scene in a bar where she coaxes a wallflower sort of teacher to go up to two gentlemen and where she gives some advice to another student while they're out at an outing. Those were a few of them. Otherwise, it just, it was a cute movie. It had its funny bits, like I said. This movie would have done great if it would have been done maybe in the 80s or 90s. Because it had that sort of comedy flair. And Timberlake... He seemed like he was just there to be there. Just to hold up air. Uh, Phyllis Smith and Lucy Punch, two of the other characters, they were good. So was uh, Jason Siegel, the gym, to, the gym teacher. Very good actors. Uh, Punch being the teacher who's been there all all the time and it was nicknamed Squirrel. Uh, apparently a few years ago she got into trouble with something and they've been trying to gloss over it. Uh, in my review. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Blind Dyslexic. Review time for Bad Teacher. I'm going to explain my my rating system so that I'm a pen. Yeah. He's a screwdriver, I guess. Alright. Pretty much it's self-explanatory between the first two, full price and matinee. Then you have a double connotation for a dollar movie. I've got a dollar movie joint up by me which is a second run movie before it goes to DVD then it pretty much or is it worth your DVD collection should you wait or should you get it for your collection then you've got TV Saturday Sunday matinee late late pretty much late however late show VHS and beta Like I said, this reminds me more of a movie you would see during the 90s or 80s. Uh, 80s or 90s. I was dying more in a weightance of laughter than of laughter. Cute movie. But this is like a movie some uh, actors do in order to tide them over till their big one comes. And on that note, you should seriously, you should seriously wait for it to come to DVD. That way you can at least see the extras. Like I said, wait for the DVD. You got two choices here. You can either wait for the late, however late show to watch it. Or wait till it comes to beta. 
yes folks I'm giving this movie a very low rating so you have a choice between the late however late show on TV or wait till it comes to beta cassette Thank you for watching the Blind Sucks to Get the Movies. I was your host, Scott McCowan. If you like what you see, please leave a comment down below and subscribe. Either in word or video format. I appreciate it. If you could kindly also donate to two great charities. One is the Heroes at Home that does great work for our military folks who really really appreciate it or cancer sucks another organization that does really great work for people suffering from cancer and to all our military families and folks out there stay safe and you're always in our hearts and from me to you you're blind dyslexic Ciao for now. Attention all Doctor Who fans out there, please make a video or contact the BBC telling them how we don't want only six episodes a season. Twelve is good if you still want to break it up like you did with this 2011 season, that would be fine too. But we do not want to have six episodes per season.